Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is going to be my fall home tour. I feel like I haven't done one in a while and if you only watch these I think you're always surprised because so much rearranging has happened. I will say sometimes by the time you watch this it goes back to what it was originally so if you're not watching all my other ones you should. It'll keep you updated um, but I'm just going to take you through my home. I'm very minimal. I'm very organic modern. Less is more. Declutter organized so that's kind of my inspo with this house. So when it comes to fall, I use a lot of texture. I use a lot of smells. I do like the vibe of it, but it doesn't like scream fall. Like I don't have a ton of pumpkins. I don't have a ton of orange. It's definitely just the vibe and the mood I try to create in my space. So if you want to know how I do it, I'll kind of talk you through it and we'll walk through my house. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's go take a look around. We're gonna start off right here in my entryway. It's right when you first come into our home, so I always like to start my tours here. Um, we used to have a table here, and the best thing I did was get rid of it. Now, I loved it, <laughs> and I loved decorating it, but that's all I did. Like, it was constantly dusty. I was constantly, like, buying decor for it. I don't know, it just seemed very high maintenance, and this has seemed so low maintenance. I may flip out a pillow occasionally, like these are new ones here. These are from my Amazon video, and. I'm in love with these. Um, having said that, I'm going to link as much as I can down below in the description box. So if you see something you want, check there first. If not, leave a comment and I'll do my best to like get through those. I will say I'm going to get a lot of comments about this mirror because I always do. It's from um, Mathis Brothers and they have it in their store, but it's not on the site to link. So many people will send me the, a link for this and it's way smaller than the one I have. So you're going to have to actually like call call in and you can order it. They have it in black, but if I had a dollar for every comment I had about this mirror, I would be rich. Um, it is beautiful. It is grand. We bought it even before we started building this house for this house. And I just, it, we designed the entryway around it and I love it, but I did want to address that because there's always so many comments. Um, the rug is boutique rugs. I probably need to replace this soon. It's getting a little dirty. We've had like a lot of workers and company in the house. And then we also have this coat closet right here. Currently I have all my jackets in it because it hasn't been um, like cool enough that I need them yet and I was clearing out the space for my closet but I may eventually move them back in. Um, but I just have these baskets. We still have a lot of extra space. You're going to see throughout our house I don't use every nook and cranny. If I can leave space I'm going to. So just because you have the extra drawer just because you have a closet does not mean you have to fill it up. So just keep that in mind. But I'll give you one more look at this space from this view and then we're going to head into my office which is right here when you come into our house. So now we're standing outside my office. I will say this was a space that took a little while to come together. Um, it's been fine. I just didn't have like a light that I loved. I've rearranged this so many times on camera, but I finally feel like this is like the perfect fit in my style. I want it to go with the rest of the home because it is like right when you walk in and I have doors but they're all glass. So I, even if I shut this off and company comes over, you can still see in if it's dirty or messy. I will say I'm okay with that. I could have chose other doors and I chose those, but I knew I'd keep it clean. But I feel like the light brought this whole space together. I love the small touches of black I've added. I love this cozy blanket. And of course my boys are the perfect final touch in here. They stay so close while I'm working, I love it. Like if I stay up late editing, they will stay in here until I get up and go to bed. So they're the best little supervisors I could ask for. But um, I will link all this for you. I have in other videos, a lot of it's like Amazon. The stuff I can't link is like Home Goods Ross and stuff like that. But if it has a link, I will get it for you. 
but this definitely I think just like brought the whole space together oh one thing I did change in here I'm gonna try to walk over not hurt my boys I put my mirror back here so in a recent video I had the fireplace it's been moved yet again <laughs> but I feel like for my workspace I need the mirror more than um, the fireplace so that got moved around you guys always love the curtains in here they're just from Ikea but um, Amazon sells the exact ones, so I can link those too Now we're gonna talk about the living room. It's kind of hard cause like everything's connected, but let's start in this area. Um, this is like the one place I have pumpkins. I may have them like a few other spots, but they're just very subtle. If you can see right here, they're on my coffee table. I love like clustering them together and I put them on this like wicker tray and I love it. And then I had these and I thought it was just a perfect balance to like break up all the white. But if you look everywhere else, you can tell it's not like super fall, but I have so many candles burning. I have so many different textures. I feel like you get the fall vibe and I even switch out my greenery where it's not like, you know, like lush and thick and full. Um, I like to switch that out. I love YouTube screensavers. Like it just, it's the best of both worlds. It looks like I have art hanging and I don't have to have this big black blob, but when we want to turn a show on, we have it. So I love that and it's free. So if you haven't got on board with those yet, definitely type in a free screensaver on YouTube and you're going to love it. They have like every style of art you can think of and you can even do like a seasonal. I just didn't do it this time. I will say when I show this space, I always get asked about my chairs a lot. So I'll link those. Um, but this, I always get asked, will you link the dog blanket um it's not it's just a rug i think i grabbed it from ross they have almost this exact thing on amazon so i will link that for you my boys just know if they're gonna get on the sofa to get right here and it's so nice ever since i've laid it down they just know that's their spot it makes it way easier to clean because then i can just take that off throw it in the washer and dryer versus having to do the whole sectional that often especially right now like our grass is going dormant outside <laughs> so there's grass all over our floors anytime they come in and out so i love i can just pull this off shake it out and put it back down and it looks fresh again or i can wash it so if you have pets that's a really good idea even kids and they know to sit on it and eat it just it saves your furniture for sure here is a look just from the other side. I talked about this earlier, but I love adding textures for fall and winter, just like my thin blankets go to like warm, fuzzy fur blankets, um, lots of candles, just the smell, but I do like to keep it simple. Um, so there is my living room. I will say I talked about this during Prime Day, but this is my new favorite blanket. If you guys are needing a good blanket for yourself or a gift, um, this is soft than any like high-end blanket that I own like I am a blanket snob and I even have like barefoot dreams this is softer and it comes in different colors it's even good for teens because the pattern I have it hid back here because I sit here all the time so when I sit down I grab it <laughs> but then the rest of the time you can't see it but anytime I sit down I want that blanket so I just always hide it right there Now let's talk dining room um in here i can link a lot of this the chairs the rug the light and the curtains are all on amazon the mirror is a splurge it is huge it took two men to get it in here when they delivered it so it's not really going to move from that space for a while um, but i can't link that but it is a splurge and then the table is a splurge it's from like studio mcgee or mcgee and co um, but it does have two leaves in it so it's nice if you need it smaller you can make it smaller and then when you're hosting you can make it bigger i have the space right here so i just leave it big so i can keep all of my chairs out um, but it's done really, really well. It's really hard finding like white oak tables. And when we were putting these floors in, I really had to hunt that table down. So when I found it, I grabbed it and I've been super happy with it.
So right here is just kind of a different angle. I'm trying to go in different corners than I normally go into just so you guys can see different things. Um, we're gonna head on into my kitchen. This is one space that not a lot changes. I mean, I'll switch out the decor, but it, it doesn't make like a huge change in there. Um, but yeah, it's the same bar stool, same lights, obviously cabinets and all that we haven't changed. But pieces like this I'll switch out. I love this. I picked this up from Home Goods for $7.99 and I feel like it's perfect just to keep everything on it. Um, something else I love is having this out. We host a lot, so I love just having it where people can grab it. Um, one little tip, if you don't like outlets, I do not like them. <laughs> um, I try to use cutting boards to hide them. I could hide it even more, but we use this daily. So I just have it where we can kind of like shift it over, plug it in and then move it back. But that's a good way to hide them. Um, I did recently grab these. I'm sure I'll be talking about them in a video, but I love the way these look out. Um, I love just using something like this, a piece of marble. Then when we're cooking, we can put um, the spoon down and then I can just throw that in the sink and rinse it off and clean it. That's been really helpful. And then these are a splurge. I ran into Pottery Barn the other day and I saw these on a table. They look even better like on a white oak table. I just want them in here for now, but um, I saw them and they were just stunning i've really 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 been into candles lately even fake ones like these are the fake it's so nice if you have kids they can't like burn themselves it's just lights and they're on timer so they'll just turn themselves on and turn themselves off i have these throughout my entire house um i get a lot of them from amazon too so i can link those but this is the kitchen here is just once again a different angle just so you guys can kind of see the setup and the flow of the house Okay, now we're gonna head into our movie room. It's kind of dark in here, so it's hard for me to film. <laughs> um, and I went ahead and like turned all the lights on, which we never have these lights on, but it's kind of easier for filming. And then over here, we have our candy and snack bar. I always try to keep this full of just different things people can grab. And then the drink fridge. And then these lights, I love, they're all famous on, I'm gonna link them. They plug in, so both of them, you can kind of see the cord coming down. If you want really cool lights and they're like dimmable, they have like different colors on them. Like if you want more of the like warm tone, um, I have it more in the daylight for in here. Really, really cool lights and you just plug them in. You don't have to like hardwire anything. So I feel like those are really, really cool to have like around pictures or photos or anything. let's head into the bedroom now that has the fireplace <laughs> this is the one piece that survived every one of our houses i have one other thing too but um this fireplace has been in our original house the house where we started youtube in our last house this current house i don't know will i get rid of it one day i don't know will it be here forever I don't know, but I feel like for the holidays, it is just perfect, especially here, like in our guest bedroom, because I can put garland on it. I can hang stockings. I don't know. It's a very, very cozy vibe for, you know, like November and December. I also think it's nice because this room is so bright and white. I have a lot of whites and creams and tans. I feel like it ties in the black mirrors. I'm still not sold on these mirrors. I think everyone loves them a little more than I do. I like them squared off. So I may grab the Walmart ones like I have in our bedroom. I'll show you those next. I feel like they just go along with our windows better being squared off. But yeah, I wanted to show this to you. I'm gonna go over here because the lighting's so bright in here. I did another screensaver from YouTube. There's so many different styles, but like, doesn't this look like it's supposed to be here? I feel like it was made for my house and they even have like frames and that's just like the screen 
but it looks like framed art. Oh, it's just stunning. Now we're gonna move on to our bedroom. I will say this is our walkway in. So originally this door was supposed to be all the way up here and it just felt weird versus like giving us our own hallway. So we shifted that door back. I added a mirror. Um, I've always wanted to do some really cool shelf here, which I could always do, but then it's more to decorate. You guys know I don't love like a ton of clutter, so I don't know if I'd love it or hate it, but this works for now. But I think it would be really cool to have like one of those arched like hutches or something like that. But I also don't keep a lot of things like I don't collect anything. I don't know, maybe I would. Maybe I would enjoy it. But one day if I find one for the right price and the right size, I think it could go there. I've also played with the idea of like not putting anything there but having a bench here. It looks pretty cool, but for some reason I don't want to like tighten our walkway. So I just put this mirror up there and it's worked. It's perfect. I can check my outfit before I leave for the day. Now we're on to our bedroom. Um, I will say this has been a pretty recent like makeover we did. Um, the new nightstands, which I've had a little while, the bed, the lamps I'm loving. It's the same mirror, same light, I think even the same rug. Um, but the lamps really brought this room together. I had been wanting some really oversized lamps because I had bought these dressers as nightstands. Like this is a pretty large space. And so if I put like normal nightstands in here, it would have looked dinky. And so I grabbed these, which look like nightstands with their dressers, but then every lamp on it was just kind of like disappearing. It just looked really weird to me. So I grabbed these from, I think it was like Magnolia. And then over here, I have another like screensaver, but see how I feel like in here, you get a better view of it. It looks like there's a frame, but there's not. That's all the TV. This is from Walmart. This is from Walmart, Amazon, Home Goods. I want to say this was Wayfair. I can't even fully remember. I think it's Wayfair. Um, and it opens up with storage. I have nothing in it. Once again, I keep forgetting to open things. Um, just because I have space does not mean I'm going to fill it up. Now I can, but I try really hard not to. Heading into our bathroom, you'll see it's just like an open shot. We'll go all the way into our closet and on. Um, so this is my side over here. It's really hard to like film me cleaning the bathroom on YouTube now because we have like separate spaces. I don't know, it just makes it weird filming. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Maybe it's just me because of the angles, <laughs> but this is my side. Perfect, I've got plenty of storage. This is Chase's side over there. This is our water closet, which is our toilet. And then you walk through here and it's our shower. I'm in. Once again, I'm gonna say this, I did not like really clean my house before I picked up my camera. So I don't know how dirty it's gonna be in here. <laughs> but when you turn in here, oh yeah, we look decent. Um, we have this like shower nook up here, but you like curve into the shower. Does that make sense? So I came from here, there's a wall going this way and then this way. So when you come in, there's the shower. I can turn it on right here, let it get warm. And then this is like a really weird angle to film, but that's our shower and it's so nice. I never have to clean like a glass door or anything. And then when you come out, here's our tub. We have a window, but it's like a privacy so you can't see in, light, all right there. And then it goes into our closet. This is my side right here, you can tell. And then I have all my shoes. What's so funny is originally I had planned for this to be Chase's side and then somewhere it got switched. 
this is where my coats are probably gonna have to go back to I showed you in the front closet so like once it gets cold I may move Pearl out I just cannot find her a good spot in this house she's good here but then like winter comes and I need my jackets so if they come they have a spot if I just move my wedding dress um, I did a little rearranging in here so if you guys saw my last like organizing video it looks like I have more black and gray than originally it's just the way I organized so I did have like all this gray going back there and I had it real like kind of like shoved together now I shoved together my my colors <laughs> that I'm not wearing as much I still wear them but coming in here I don't like seeing a lot of color it's very overwhelming to me <laughs> so I rather walk in and see like white grays and black so I spaced those out more and then like tucked away the colors back there and then I hung my pants so if it looks a little different I did do that off camera and then over here on this side you guys can see me right there is um, Chase's closet so he, and I mean I say Chase's it's just our side so my sides over here his sides over there he's got all of his shoes um, and then his jackets, which he'll eventually, like, as it gets cold, will drop down. So we'll flip stuff around. But all of his shirts, dress shirts, suits, all of that. These are seasonal racks. So there is a handle you can just pull down and get it too. So, like, he may not move those if he doesn't want to. But he can reach the pole and just pull it down, grab what he needs, and push it back up. So that's what's super nice is we can actually get to these. You can see right here, this one we can't. It's up higher. It would hit the little shoe shelf. Um, but all of those he can get to. Filming in here is just a little bit hard because I'm like shooting straight out the window and it's super sunny right now. But I love this space. It is very, very oversized for a laundry room, but it gets used all the time. This is where our boys eat, we feed them. This is where every guest gets their drink. We have a backup microwave in here. Um, a lot of our cleaning that I don't want done, like in our nice kitchen sink, I can do in here because it's like a stainless. Um, we have all of our medications in here. This is like our overflow room, not to mention it's the laundry room. So I'm in here every day if I like it or not, but um, I like keeping overflow out in the garage, but I keep just enough in here. So if I need to grab something and I don't want to go out to the garage or it's a guest, like all of our company knows, like if you need more toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenexes, this either needs to be restocked, but I'll restock this before we have company and then they can just come in here and grab whatever they need. Um, we also keep like, if people don't want to drink out of cans or if they just want water, we keep like to-go cups in here. Um, Savannah has her whole little area here of coffee, vitamins, like all of her stuff. And then, like I said, we have like all of our medicine bins. We just decluttered this off camera. I don't know if you guys remember what this looked like before. We had so much outdated medicine. I was shocked. So if you haven't gone through each one of your pill bottles, I highly suggest doing it. We just went to Walmart and rebought a lot of stuff. We had stuff from like our first house, which is terrible. So that's your little reminder to declutter or just go through your medication and make sure it's not expired. This is like the boys cabinet right there. And then this is just like overflow drinks, but this is literally just our drink fridge. So when people come over, they can just come get whatever they need. Um, so that's been really helpful. We've always had this out in the garage, but in this house, I was like, okay, we're putting it inside because then your guests have to go through your garage, your dirty garage. <laughs> um, but like I said, it still worked. We did that for many, many years at different houses, but it is nice having it inside right there. Coming out of this space, we do have a powder bathroom. I actually forgot to show you one. There's in the movie room. I'll run back over there. Didn't even cross my mind, but we have just, I think it's perfect size. It's not massive. It's not small. Just the right size powder bathroom right here. Perfect for our guests.
so I completely forgot when I was in here there's like a whole door here so we don't really use this for like when people are in the movie room it gets used when we're hosting because people will just come in here um, but what's nice is it's more of like a pool bath door. So like when the kids are swimming or if Chase has guys over in the building, um, I can just leave this unlocked and they can get in from the outside and go to the bathroom. So it does get used. It's still a powder bathroom, but we have lots of others. This was mainly for the pool, but like I said, it's been used way more than I thought it would be. Um, people like to come back here when we're cooking and stuff in the kitchen. It's like not as close to that bathroom, like it's further away from the kitchen and then like I said Chase has a lot of guys over to like hang out in his building they like they don't have to like come through the house and like talk to me they can just run in here and then what I do is I'll leave that unlocked when I know people are coming but I can lock it off right here that's from Amazon and they can't get inside so like people can come use our pool like friends can be like hey can we use the pool I can leave the pool bath and open so like kids can still go to the bathroom but they can't like get all the way into our house which is you know it's just nice so if they need a bathroom it's there but we also know they just can't come running through the house so it's like a win-win And on to the last and final space. This was a quick mini makeover we did not too long ago and I love this. We switched out his rug. This room used to feel so dark to me. We even had our builder come back in and add like um, lights and it helped a ton, but it still just felt darker. I replaced the rug with this one. Oh, I love this rug. It is the softest rug. I love the texture on it. It doesn't shed. This rug, if they had it in the right size, I'm going to put it in my entryway too because I love it. I'm just hoping they make it in a runner that's long enough. But it brightened up the space so much. But I love that it still has this design in black in it. So it's going to hide, you know, just wear and tear, dirt, people coming in and out. I will say this office day is pretty clean because it's only Chase and Tiger. who will come in here and dump that over and get his toys. Um, but yeah, definitely just switching out this rug helped a ton. And then he had a chair here, but I brought the tree back. I'll kind of switch angles. We aren't big like art people or like photograph people, but I don't know, there's something about him. He just deserves to be in here. I feel like it's his office. Um, but this piece is off Amazon. Chase has the same desk that I do. That's how much we love it. We both have it. And then if we ever want to flip flop rooms, we don't have to move the desk because it is heavy, so keep that in mind. But, okay, there's not a lot to say in here, but this is his, and I'm definitely loving this space. It's never been one of my favorites until now. I'm like, it's perfect. You can just tell when you finally, like, get a room right because you just feel so, like, content and happy with it and you find yourself just walking and looking at it that's what i've been doing with this space okay guys we did it that was a wrap i hope that wasn't too long um the next home tour i'm going to be putting up is my christmas decorating home tour which is crazy that we're going to blink and that's here i will say i've decided not to film my christmas decorating this year i feel like i've lost too much time with savannah just getting to like decorate our home without it being on camera and she's just getting too old too quickly so we're going to just do that as a family this year and probably doing that moving forward as long as she's in this house once she moves out I'll decorate with you guys again <laughs> but I really want to cherish these so I will show you what I'm doing it's just going to be in a home tour so it's all going to be done next time you guys see it so like I said the next time you see a home tour coming up all my Christmas is going to be out and when I say all my Christmas is going to be out it's going to be like fall there's not a ton but there is more than fall I'm ready to get some trees put up I've already been planning I've already been scheming I I'm pretty sure I'm like 99.9% .9 of the theme I'm going with this year, which is super fun. And I'm excited to see what you guys think. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Like this is so helpful. Like it is so helpful. You guys just being here, watching the full video, commenting, liking, sharing it is huge if you wanna help me out. So share it with a friend, share it with your husband, whoever. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.